Aubrey, if you guys are new here, hi, and welcome. Today we're super, I'm very, I think I have a lot of energy. I don't know what's happening to me, but I'm very excited as always because I went to Target. Um, it is the beginning of January and it is the best time to go to Target. They are clearancing out a whole bunch of home decor candles as well. If you guys love candles, don't forget to check out that aisle. Um, but I went today early in the morning and it was the best time to go. They put out all of the Studio McGee um, the new home decor collections that I've been sharing, they were fully stocked. Same with Hearth and Hand, a lot of great finds and I wanna share, share with you guys what I ended up snagging today. There's so many things that I don't, I don't know where to start, but I think I'm gonna start with some decor first and then I'll do the larger items last. You can see the new large item behind me that I snagged. When I was at Target today, the um, department manager was like laying all the new items out. And he was so nice, but he was giving me the download on when all the new collections come in and the best time to come to Target. So I was like, yeah, 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 like perfect, good to know. Anyways, the first core item I wanna show you guys that I snagged from Target is this beautiful ceramic centerpiece bowl from Hearth and Hand. This was only $24.99. I love it for so many reasons. Also, excuse me, I kind of look like a floating head because I'm wearing this black, like bodysuit turtleneck situation. Anyway, so it looks kind of funny on camera. I feel like I'm just like a floating head. Anyways, um, this is a beautiful centerpiece bowl I picked up. I, what I really liked about it is one, the price is amazing, $24.99, a great size for like an entryway table or a great dish to have out on like your counter or your dining room table. I just think it's a really nice decorating piece to have. Um, this is a ceramic, it's a hand wash only. It is food safe as well, so you can obviously maybe use this to like serve up food if you want, but for overall, I see me using this as like a ongoing decor piece. I also thought about styling this up on my entryway table to put like keys or phones or any little miscellaneous items. I thought this is just like really pretty piece to have. I love the color of it. It's kind of like this sand neutral color. It's not quite white. It's kind of like a, almost like a very soft taupe, but it has this really awesome kind of like speckle detailing to it. So a beautiful decor piece. And I really like the little rivet pedestal that it has. It's very simple and clean. And I think it's gonna be a perfect addition to my home. All right, the next item that they had there today was these little watering can misters. I talked about this in my Target home decor video that I recently just shared. And it's just like a mister. So it's like a watering can that you can pour out of. And then it's like a little mister on top. Now I have heard that like actually misting your plants, it actually doesn't do anything. <laughs> But I don't know. I mean, a little mist never hurts. So, but I think it's still cute. This was $19.99. Um, it's a plant mister slash watering can. It's a little duo situation. But I thought it'd be cute to have on my kitchen countertop buying my other plants. I will say my fern though, that I, my Boston fern that I have right here in my background, um, it does need a little mist every now and then. So, I did pick up that little can, and I really like the coloring of it too. It looks like a vintage watering can, and I think that's why I like it so much. I also picked up one of their um, Hearth and Hands oil diffusers. These smell so good. I picked up this one in the scent um, herbs, and I have the candle that smells amazing. So it's the scent herbs, and uh, it's just, it smells so good. I really like the oil diffusers for um, like bathrooms as well, instead of having like a candle constantly burning in there. Um, I like the thought of also just having a nice oil diffuser. So anyways, this is what it looks like. It's a really good size. I can't remember, oh, the price was $19.99. Um, it does say you have to allow 24 to 36 hours for the reeds to absorb the oil and the fragrance to diffuse. Anyways, it just smells so fresh and it smells like spring. So anyways, I did snag one of these. Casa Luna also has a really good brand as well um, of their oil diffusers that smell amazing. A little bit more on like the linen kind of spa scents, but the herbs really did it, did it for me. This isn't obviously home decor, but it is for but it is for the kitchen and I really like it because 
my kids devour strawberries like nobody's business. Like I am buying maybe like two to three cartons of strawberries and they can go through them like within a day or two. So we are berry lovers in my house and I saw this and I thought this was so cute and convenient and I'd actually probably use this all the time. It's a berry bowl with a saucer. So it's basically just like a really nice ceramic strainer with a cute saucer to uh, collect the water from like the berries being drained. So I like this, it's a two piece set. It was $19.99 as well, a really great affordable price and I love the coloring so I only have like one plastic strainer which is you know I can't even remember where I got it probably Walmart years ago and I've had it for years like years 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 so I thought I would upgrade to a nice new strainer and saucer pan very excited for that all right the next item I want to show you guys these are new from um, hearth and hand and they came out with these gigantic decorating objects. This is their ceramic vase. The largest one is $39.99. This is what it looks like. This is how big it is. And it comes in a couple different colors. I loved how like neutral this color of the vase was. It comes in three different sizes. I also picked up the second, uh, the second largest size as well. This one was $29.99. They had a smaller one that was just a little smaller. It's $19.99, but I just, I mean, I don't need three decorative vases, but I thought two decorative vases in my glass cabinet would be a nice way to kind of spruce things up. I don't like buying a ton of vases because I already have quite a bit. And so when it comes to like me buying home decor for my house, I don't like to over shop. I really try to only buy things that I have a spot for. I don't like to have barrels and bins of home decor that I'm not using. So whenever I'm prying something, I like to intentionally shop or if I only have like a spot for it. So anyways, I like these two together. I like the colors. They're slightly different colors. Um, and yeah, I just, I don't know. We'll see how we like these styled, but I do like them a lot and I like the size for the price as well. What else do we have? I also snagged um, some new bedding for my master bedroom. I've been using the Casa Luna Heavyweight Linen Duvet from Target for the last, I don't know, it's been a while now since I last bought it, maybe last, maybe a year and a half. It's been great. Um, I bought it in all white. It's getting a little dingy looking, even though when I like bleach it, there are some stains now. So I wanted to get some new bedding, but I really like Target's bedding. And obviously Pottery Barn has a special place in my heart, but when it comes to bedding, I feel like you can find some really great options at Target. So I picked up this one. This is the um, Fine Stripe duvet cover from Hearth and Hand. It's in a king size. This was $89. Um, what I liked about it, it is the linen. I do love the feel of linen on a bedroom or on a bed. And this one I really liked it because it has a very like minimal stripe. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it has a very minimal um, kind of like gray stripe through it. And I liked it. So I thought we would try it out. Maybe in another video, like a decorate with me. But I'm going to try it and see how this looks on my bed style. So to pair that duvet cover set, I also picked up the Casa Luna. This is the Casa Luna Reverse Chambery Cotton Coverlet. It's 100% cotton. I love the texture of it. And on the end of it, um, it has like a kind of like a frayed feel. Um, I have this rug in my room called the El Dorado rug, which is linked down below, that I love. I love it for my bedroom. I will probably have it forever. But in that rug, there's kind of like this burnt, like orangey color in it. And so I, this kind of reminded me of my rug that I have. So I thought this might pair well with, oops, with the duvet paired on top. Then I just gotta, I gotta figure out some like accent or throw pillows to go with it. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm excited for this because I love, I don't know, I love this color. I typically don't go for like a orangey kind of burnt color. I don't even know what the color actually is on this. It doesn't have like a, like what the color is. But anyways, it's kind of like a very, very muted, soft sand color. I think that's probably more accurate than saying orange. But anyways, I thought this would be a nice color to try out. 
And then I also snagged a new runner for our bathroom. This is the Threshold by Studio McGee Runner. This is a 28 by 84 inch. This is in the color green distress Persian. Um, I like this for our master bathroom. We really need a runner in there. We have tile and it's just so cold. So I wanted to get something that's gonna feel a little soft on the feet. Also to kind of help I don't know, try and make our bathroom warmer, as weird as that sounds. Um, but yeah, so I also picked up this runner as well. So I'm excited to see what this looks like on our tile. The last item I wanna show you guys that I snagged from Target is this beautiful art piece from Studio McGee. When I went there, the department manager was like, we only received 20 of these and there were only two left. So he's like, they went super fast. Um, so I snagged one of the last ones um, this one is Studio McGee. I'm going to show you guys a different clip of it because um, it is such a large piece. This costs $85. This is a 36 by 36. I love that it's already pre-framed and I really like the print of this artwork. Um, I think I'm going to try it in a few different spots in my home. I may also just put it in my living room. I don't know, but we will see. I hope you guys enjoyed this new Target haul. If you guys love Target videos, I will link my most recent video for you guys to watch. But anyways, until next time, I will see you guys later.